What's up there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris again on the second video today. Um, wow, guys, I got a really, really wild one for you guys because this is just absolutely insane. Um, I was, like like I said in my last video in my description, I did an update because I said, um, while I was uploading this, I saw something in the video when I, when I actually went into the inversion part of it. And after I seen that, I was like, okay. But something was puzzling me. I saw like this, believe it or not, what triggered it was a color. Um... And after I looked at this color and then watched my video and then looked at the picture again, I was like, no way. There's just no way. Now, this is going to get everybody really asking a bunch of questions. And rightfully so. Um, because I found another vehicle. Okay. And then it's next to the other anomaly that I... But I, after taking a second look, I seen things in a different way. And I was like, whoa. Um, you're going to see this, this that little van I told you had like a face on it. It actually looks like it has an animal on it. So now, if you guys uh, believe in, um, well, there's many theories of how life started here. You know, whether it be through chemicals, you know, amino acids, so on and so forth. Okay. Um, there's also another theory or idea of panspermia. If you're not familiar with panspermia, panspermia is basically an idea that, you know, uh, Mars was hit by some large body out in space or another planet came real close to Mars, basically, you know, with its gravitational pull, and think about it, strong gravitational gravitational pull on its own gravitational pull would absolutely be chaos to a planet. I mean, it would just, you know, tidal waves, massive uh, quakes, uh, you name it. It would just totally devastate the planet. But if it was to go by and literally rip the atmosphere right off of it, everything would pretty much be freeze-dried right in its place. So... I'm kind of setting this thing up if you understand, if you know what I'm doing. But um, there's a reason for that. Now, you guys can think whatever you want because I'm just going by these things. I'm just I'm just really puzzled by it because um, once I show you this, um, because it looks like there's actually a person sitting in this car. You can see the steering wheel, the whole nine yards. Well, not this, not super clear, but you'll get the idea. And I'm going to show you this, and it just phew, it totally, it totally blew my mind. Okay. Now... This is where I've showed you guys right here and right here were the two things in the foreground mostly that stuck out for me. And, of course, I show you all the wild things that are in the background here. Okay. So let's jump in here. Let's go to eh, 200% is fine. Um, now, I was showing you something when I inverted this. Somewhere over here or over here, there was looked like it had, like, I said there was, like, looked like windows. Um, after I looked at this again, boom, I was like, What? All right, see this little color right here? It's like an orange. I believe that's kind of pixeled out and it's done for a reason to block whatever this thing is. So, all right. So, let me get into this. All right. So, I, I deliberately did this one too so we can actually have this whole area open. All right. So, after I, after I equalize this, now you can see right here, and remember I told you it looked like that little face. There's two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Watch when I actually blur this thing out. Now that I'm concentrating on one area, again, it's just boom. Things take on a whole total different, uh, you know, view. Um, okay. Now, it looks like some weird cat. You can look like you see ears right here, a face, and a head itself. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. This could be absolutely trick of light. I get that. and Or just trickery of just the way the rocks look or whatever, whatever. Is it possible that it's real? Well, that's a possibility. I mean, come on. Um, okay. Here's the thing I said is it looks like a person sitting in a car. Right there. Now, the reason why I say that... I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. I don't know how bad this is going to go. I'm going to get really nasty uh, as far as grainy-wise. Here's the person. Now, if you notice it's a different color compared to everything else in here. I mean, there's a few oranges here and there. But, I mean, it just happens to be right there. Here's the thing. If you were looking at this car right here, this would be the front. And I want to show you, there's actually a line that shows the front of this car. Um, or this vehicle, we'll call it. But there's actually what looks like a windshield right here. The steering wheel's right here, and you'll see that better in a little bit. Headrest. The back of the car. See, I think this thing's actually been inverted. This is the reason why when I inverted the first time, I was like, whoa, what is this? Check this out. Looks like a door handle. Now, when I invert this, you're going to see actually the line of the door right here. And you're going to see where the fender starts. Now, see right here where I said it looks like squares? Looks like that. That could be nothing but manipulations as far as, like, what's laying on the ground here. Okay. So now I'm going to take the color out so we can get a little bit of better view. 
Um, again, this looked like some kind of cat kind of mural on the side of a van. Uh, it just looked like some kind of weird thing. Now, is it possible that, they, like I said, they had a lifestyle like we did. Is it possible that, you know, um, you know, obviously if they were there before us, and we're nothing but descendants of them, both animal or any living thing here on Earth, is it possible that they had the same kind of thing we've got today? I mean, look at it. I mean, we got trailer trucks with Walmart and all kinds of crazy stuff on, on pictures and stuff on trucks, you know, pet places, uh, you know, um, pest control, you name it. Is it possible they had some very similar to ours? So this wouldn't be far-fetched. Um, okay. So anyway, desaturate. And I'm going to colorize it just for the heck of it for a moment. Because like I said, you'll see this right here because it's all white. You're going to see that differently in a minute. But look at this. It just, to me, it looks like a cat. I mean, I could be wrong. It may be just the way these light, the way it's, the light's playing on over here. And it's just rocks and just happen to look. But it just kind of looks weird like that. But this is what I'm more interested in. And I believe this is like ghosted out or just the way they manipulate the picture, you know. Um, okay. Watch what happens when I invert this. Okay. Suddenly now you can see here's the headrest, the person or the person's head that they digitized out, steering wheel, would be the dashboard. You can see it actually going across it, right here. This would be the windshield. I don't know what kind of, if it's like broken or whatever, but right here, look at the door handle. Comes down, angles down. You can see another line here. And you can literally see the front where it goes like this. Look, look at this. Now, I can't see a wheel here. I can't see any of that because this junk is all laying there. But you can see right here, like I said, there's the headrest and the back of the car itself, and there's a bunch of junk laying all over it. Okay. And again, if we look over here, you can see the little ears on whatever this thing's supposed to be, or at least that's the way it looks. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. They could easily just, you know, put this thing on here just to throw people off. They go, oh, my God, it's a picture of a cat. Of course, this is super lame. Okay. They might have done that because you're going to say, okay, I'm seeing things now. Let me get the heck out of this picture. Okay. And that could very well be true. But this... To me, is just like, boom. You know what I mean? Now, by getting rid of the color, and I'm going to put a different color in here for you guys, because this is what I did. Um, I'm trying to brighten it up, and then I'm using a color that would bring out lines or details. So, let's see what happens. Okay. Now, I, I typically use this color because it's bright, and yet it's not too bright. So, you'll see me using like kind of a bluish, purplish kind of thing going on. This particular way is just more bluish. But, again, <clears throat> you can see the dash. Well, what looks like a dashboard? It looks like a wheel. Now, let's just say a hypothetical. This, this is some kind of person sitting in this thing. I mean, how do we know they didn't just instantly freeze right there? How do we know that? Um, there's no way of saying yay or nay. I'm not there. I couldn't tell you. But, like I said, it's just kind of odd how it just has this... It looks like a door handle. You can see the line come down and then slants over. Another line here. And you can see where it looks like the car or the vehicle actually ends right here. Now, this junk, I don't know what is all on the back of that. But, um, okay, so now let's bounce back to uh, right here. Okay, so now you can see the other part, the darker parts, or at least right here. Okay, headrest. You see the front right here? It comes down. I don't know, guys. I mean, you guys can tell me what you think this stuff is because, to me, it just stuck out like, whoa. Now... Like I said, most of you, you know, some of my hardcore skeptics are going to say, I told you, it's it's the Earth, it's pictures from Earth, it's cars. I wrestled with that idea for this simple reasons. One, let's say a hypothetical, and I said this in my other video. If this is truly Earth, why would they take pictures of things that we would recognize? Why wouldn't they just have the rover turn? Take a picture of an area that has nothing at all in it. Absolutely nothing. Just bare ground, just rocks. They wouldn't have to manipulate. To, to hide anything. So that to me, that theory kind of goes out the window. Um, you know, and then the other thing is, too, is let's say this is from Earth. You know, let's because there's been plenty of earthquakes and stuff. We know that, major earthquakes, and people been buried under, under rubble, the whole nine yards. Let's say this was somehow a scene from one of those uh, catastrophic uh, events. Well, they're not likely going to leave a person sitting in the car if they're deceased, or even if they're alive. They're not likely going to leave a person sitting in it. So, that theory kind of goes out the window. So now you got to say, okay, well, is it possible that, you know, this is the real deal? And somehow when this event took place, I mean, think about it. I mean, this vehicle happens to be running this way. This is running this way. Maybe it was just a big accident. Like I showed you on that road next to Mount Shop. 
Is it possible that that just boom, just everything just went went to hell in a hurry? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I just saw that. I just said, whoa, hold on a minute. That just doesn't make sense. I mean, like I said, door handle. Look at right here. Got that line to the door, so on and so forth, the front of it. You really can't make out if this is... Let me go back here. Blur it up. You really can't tell if this is actually glass hair or whatever this is. It looks like there's something sticking up. And then you get the wheel hair. It looks like they try to put something on there to make it look like a head or try to cover the head up. But, come on, just happen to be perfectly rectangular in the back of them? Come on, guys. We've seen cars before that have, like, headrests right in the back. I mean, there's a thousand cars out there, a million cars. So, you know, almost every car out there has a headrest of some sort. And the sports cars have even more fancy ones. You know, they got, like, a net, a netting, and then they got the outline of the thing. I mean, um, so, I mean, I don't know. Is this far-fetched? Is it something that looks like that? I mean, I don't know. I just, it just caught my eye. I was just, I, I, man, I don't get that. And like I said, now we invert it. There's the headrest, the person. You can just see the wheel under here, right there. The door, door handle. And you can literally see the dash. It looks like, you know, it's like, you know, if you guys know what the old T-Birds look like, they had like two sets of, there was like this rounded area right here, and then they had another rounded area on that side. But that doesn't look like that on this. See what I mean? It shows it here, but it doesn't show it there. So I don't know if it's just a window right here showing up right here, and it's just half gone. or what. I don't know. I don't, I'm just throwing ideas. But, and you can see this is like right here it ends. That is just weird, man. I just, it just stuck out. I was like, what the heck? So, guys, tell me what you think it is. I mean... I just, I was just totally blown away when I seen this. I just, whoa, maybe I overlooked something here. Is it possible that's what it is? Is it possible this is actually a person sitting in a car or some kind of vehicle? And that it's just, boom. And, you know, when this, like I said, when this event happened and just stole the atmosphere, everything just fr froze in place. Um, does anybody think it's from Earth? I'm sure I'll get a couple of people saying that. And how do I know? I'm not there to do that, but there's just so many things saying I don't think so because of this. Again, why would they put these things? Why would they allow these take these pictures only to just go through all this trouble to to manipulate them to get the stuff out? It just it just seems to me it'd be a whole lot easier just to point the rover in a spot that has nothing in it, take a snapshot, and then send it. It would just make more sense to me. So I don't know. Now, is it possible that they are doing that purposely, and you know they're just saying, well. We'll make it look like that, and because we already took the picture, we might as well just modify it and take the stuff out. I mean, so many questions go through your mind after you see this. It just, you know, you just don't know what to make of it. I don't. It looks like a person sitting in a car or some kind of vehicle. That's all. Um, now, you guys may have other ideas. Maybe I'm seeing things differently. I don't know. But I'll let you, I'll leave that up to you guys. I just wanted to, you know, just quick video, let you guys see this. And like I said, I don't know what, because it, it looks like this is, like, digi digitized out, so you don't know what if this is actually... Because it kind of looks like a cat when you look at it. It looks like the ears and the... Now, whether that is or not, I don't know. It could very well just be just the way rocks and manipulations on this side of this thing is. Because they probably try to put rocks in to cover this thing up. So it just happened to fall, and it kind of looked like that. Like, some people say, well, it's just, you know, pitches and clouds kind of thing. And it could very well be on this particular thing. It, I don't know. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. Just wanted to bring that to you. Let you, uh, you know, you guys t have a look at this thing. Tell me what you think. Um, is it another vehicle? Is it something totally, it's just a, a mere rock? Let me know. Um, like I said, I just want to do a quick one. And uh, like I said, it's right in here. If you guys want to look at this yourself, there's the vehicle right there and there's the other. And you guys know where to find the link. It should be in the previous one, but I will put it in this one too, just in case you you can't find it. But, I mean, it's the latest video I did before this one. So, um, But anyway, guys, have a look at it. Tell me what you think. As always, I'm always curious about what you guys have to say and what you, uh, you, know, what you guys come up with, you know, whether I'm way off or if it's, uh, it is what I say or something along them lines. <laughs> it's anybody's guess. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will see you next pick.